Welcome to the project demonstration of RF based wireless robot for landmine detection with the GPS. In this project we are using LCD display, buzzer, RTN UNO, RF receiver, track PCB and ln 259 buck one router, L293 motor driver and GPS module and also using G G GSM. GSM is nothing but a global system for mobile, GPS is nothing but a global system position. And here we can see these are the two antennas, one is for the GPS and another is for the GSM. So we are inserting the sim using this one. So here we can see the notch. So notch will be upper side. Now I have inserted. So now and also using a 12 volt 1 amp capacitor battery and also using a uh, RF transmitter and this is the RF transmitter battery. It is a 9 volts battery we are providing here. And also before on the kit, this system will be in on position then only the system will be works good so here we can see it uh, it is a battery so it have four volts one amp capacity if we add this uh, if we add the batteries in a series so it will become a twelve volts with the one amp uh, rating in a series connection what is same and the current will be uh, what is will be added and current will be same that will be given to this buck converter buck converter takes twelve volts input that twelve volts input will be stepped down up to five volts that five volts will be given to this track PCB through track PCB equally we will divide the 5 volts power supply to the LCD display Arduino you know GSM module GPS module like that so these components are works on the 5 volts of power supply only now I will explain you how uh, RF technology will works so this is the RF transmitter radio frequency transmitter and this is the regular frequency receiver so we can see we can on and off this one using this connection only so here we can see we are giving the 9 volts power supply from here and this is a 7805 regulator it takes 12 volts and it will give 5 volts of output that 5 volts of output will be given to this IC at the same time it will give to the uh, transmitter and this is the antenna for this uh, RF transmitter so based on the uh, signal input it will be this clock pulse will be uh, this IC will be generated clock pulse that clock pulse will be given to this crystal oscillator then crystal oscillator will be generated radio frequency waves that radio frequency waves will be transmitted by this transmitter coil so based on the each switch signal it will generate different different signals it will generate up to four different signals that four signals uh, different signals will be transmitted by this one so here we can see this is the receiver transmitter receiver okay, so here we can see this receiver will receive the signals that signals will be given to this Arduino board so here we can see this uh, utilizing the DC voltage and it will generating a analog output that analog output will be transmitted through this uh, transmitter coil then antenna then this antenna will be received by this this antenna so this antenna will receive the radio frequency that is in the analog form that analog form will be converted into digital form using this IC that di digital form will be given to this Arduino you know so based on the signals these motors will be uh, change the directions so here we can see this is the forward direction and this is the reverse left right directions and also here we can see l 293 d so l 293 drives the uh, four motors using this 12 volt power supply so when it uh, so whenever the l 293 have a signals from the Arduino you know then only this will be drived now we will see how it will works so first of all we need to give the power supply for the RF transmitter and after that we need to switch on this one so here we can see a uh, light indication over the gsm model so this uh, red light indicate uh, blinks speed which means it is not connected to network if it is blink with the delay time which means this sim is connected to the network now it is blinking more which means it is not un connected to the network <laughs> if it is connected to the network then only it will send a messages to a reserve phone number so it will be send the messages whenever the metal detected so it will send the uh, location using this gsm module and also we are using a charging circuit for this uh, project so here we can charging circuit so in the charging circuit we have a step down transformer and the rectifier we are providing the power supply through the power cable so it is a power cable it takes 230 volts power supply that will be given to the step down transformer the step down transformer step down up to 12 volt 1 amp reading and it will take ac input and it will convert the dc up to 12 that dc will be given to this battery directly so we can charge this battery up to 12 hours sorry up to 5 to 6 hours then the system will be works good now the charging ha uh, it, now this battery charge have a low that's why 
it is not uh, having any signal now i'm doing the charging so we can see the lighting equation over there so we can see the light indication over there it is blinking with the delay time now it will send a message to our phone number and we can see we can control this robot using this RF transmitter this is the forward motion this is the reverse motion this is the left, left, left side and this is the right side and also if any metal detected so this motor will uh, this robot will be detected detect detect the metal when it is in run position so we are using this iron rod for the metal detection so we can see so when it is directed then automatically it will be off uh, motor will be stop and also it will send a message to our registered phone number so here we can see it will send a like this like metal detector with the location latitude line to values so in this way this part will be works thanks for the watching